In today's video, I will be pouring on a 36 inch by 24 inch canvas and I'll be doing a one puddle pour, meaning I'm gonna be pouring all my colors into one puddle and then I'm gonna be moving around the canvas. I'm probably gonna be adding a little bit of paint around it before moving it around. Now, since I'm working on a rectangular canvas, there's a chance that it might end up weird, like maybe uncentered. Like I see it in my head, it might move more towards one side because I have to fill up the whole thing. So I might end up just re-pouring afterwards to maybe make um, my overall look look like I want it to. So the colors that I'll be using today are from Americana, um, Deco Art, Primary blue, Victorian blue, Oxblood, and silver. The white that I'm using is a mix of Artist Loft and another brand. The only thing that I add to my paint is just a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and I dilute the rest with water. Now I know that I'm in my living room right now, I'm not in my art room, it's just because I can't go in at the moment. All right, so let's do this.
this is about 30 minutes later and it's looking awesome. I'm really loving the overall look. Okay, so to talk about what just happened here, first off, the ox blood color really took over. And I should have known that because there's red in it. And red is a takeover color. But what I did, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, well, probably if you've been following me for a while, I really love negative space. I'm hooked on it. And I, I find that it's needed to have a nice overall look. And since there was just too much happening here, even though I did have a blast moving around that one puddle pour, there was just too much. So I remixed paint like three times and I just poured that on there. And it makes for a much better overall look. And I have never mentioned this before, but a lot of people have asked me, what do I do when there's bubbles? And you guys maybe saw that like super fast in the time lapse. But after pouring the white paint on its own, I used my torch just to torch it a bit. Because when you move around your paint after it's been poured, usually, well for me, there's never really any bubbles left. Like everything moves into each other and somehow the bubbles pop. But when I poured just that white paint on its own and like didn't move it that much, there were some bubbles. So I just took my torch and lightly popped them. And this silver, which is a metallics color, which usually takes over, so I purposely put it on the bottom when I poured. So what happened is that it's like, well, you can't really see it well now, but it's spread out through the whole painting in just some little small areas. So that's why I added some more here. Just to, just to have some on its own. Okay, so I'll shut up now. Overall look. Stay tuned for the dried result. So I'm back with the dried result. Almost dried. It's about 90%. You can see where I re-poured some white there. That part isn't dry yet. But I couldn't wait because I have to leave soon and I want to show you guys what it looked like dry. And well, it's pretty much the same, right? Of course, I'll be giving this a spray gloss varnish. It's gonna look a bit better. I'm glad it dried exactly the same. All right, hope you guys like this. Bye.